Hi, my name is Jordan, and I'm the student representative for the Southwestern branch of ESA um, to the Student Affairs Committee. And this is our video on the Know Before You Go for National Harbor, Maryland. So this video is made by myself and Mason Russo, who is the PV representative. Uh, so the Student Affairs Committee is a committee that's made up of a bunch of different representatives from the different branches of ESA, as well as from the different sections of ESA. And so today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about this year's national meeting and the things you might want to know going into it. To start off with, um, registration has is happening for ESA. The early bird registration rates are actually already closed, uh, but you can, can still register for the meeting. ESA members do have more cheap rates for registration, and you can register guests for the meeting as well for $85. Um, so this year's meeting is also going to be in person as well as there are going to be virtual options. So those are the things to know about registration. Moving on to housing, this year's ESA meeting will take place at the Gaylord National Resort and Conference Center in National Harbor. So the guest rooms will be offered also at this national resort through the ESA link online, starting at $229 per night. Um, if you're looking for additional housing or potentially cheaper housing, ESA also has a block of rooms at the Westin Washington National Harbor, located just a few blocks away from the conference center. And these rooms start at $159 per night. So it's exciting that we're going to National Harbor because it is right on the waterfront on the Potomac and it's located 15 minutes from DC proper. And because of this, it's accessible by a few different airports, DCA, IAD, and BWI. And so I've looked at the transportation from these airports to National Harbor and it does seem that DCA has the easiest public transportation from the airport to National Harbor itself, but you can also get public transportation and or like Uber options from the other airports as well. So the daily schedule for this meeting is available online. It's a really cool schedule because you can build your own schedule. You can go through and like different talks that you wanna see and set up which ones you want to attend in advance. This will also help you kind of know where you're going at the meeting and which rooms you need to be in. So the meeting um, starts on November 4th and concludes on November 8th. A couple things I wanna plug really quick is that we do have the student debates that's also organized by the Student Affairs Committee, as well as a symposium organized by the committee that I believe are both held on Tuesday. So ch check a look, take a look at those as well. So, um, there are things to do around National Harbor. ESA has scheduled a few things through the meeting itself. And so if you're registering for the meeting, you can just go ahead and add these to your cart to register for if that's something you're interested in. A couple of the things they've scheduled are things like a DC Highlights Tour on Monday, um, Monuments by Moonlight on Tuesday. They also have a tour of the Beltsville Agricultural Research Center on Wednesday and two different behind the scenes tours of the Smithsonian. Museum of National Natural History, and that there's one on Wednesday as well as one on Thursday. And then also on Thursday, there is C.V. Riley's DC History Tour. So yeah, take a look at those if that's something you're interested in. Um, but there are also things to do kind of just around this area on your own. Um, We've looked a little bit into the transportation around National Harbor, and because it's right on the river, there are actually water taxis that you can take to and from certain places. One of the places that's really close by is Alexandria, Virginia, um, and there's some cool spots there. It's got a nice little downtown area right on the water as well. And so getting there only takes 30 minutes on the water taxi, um, and it's $28 round trip to go both ways, only $18 one way. And then there's also a, ta a water taxi that goes from National Harbor all the way up to the DC waterfront. This one takes a little while longer because you can tell from this yellow line that it's a much longer trip. Um, it's an hour and 10 minute ride and it's a $32 round trip. So it's cool that you can kind of just pull up right there to the, to the waterfront of DC on a water taxi. And these would be cool options too for just like kind of getting out and seeing the sites. Um, they're relatively cheap options compared to some of the other sort of like water tour things you can do around this area. So um, in terms of where you might want to stop off to eat in National Harbor, there is some food close by, stuff that you can easily walk to get to, and those are listed up here at the top of this page. These ones are all within walking distance of the conference center itself. Um, 
but because National Harbor is not a like a huge downtown area, I also included some things that are just the ferry right away in Alexandria. These are things that are like right off the ferry stop. So you stop and you easily can walk to these food stops. So yeah, those are some food options. And then additionally, we've included some recreational activities around National Harbor itself. Um, there's a Ferris wheel right on the harbor that you can ride for $17. You can also experience the art collection that's all around, it's like a sculpture garden all around the harbor, and that's free if you text um, to a certain number. So that's something that's easy to do right outside of the conference center itself. There's also a park that's right down the road from the conference center that has kind of some history stuff going on outside, and then also it's a great place just to walk around and kind of see the sights, and that's also right on the harbor as well. You can also go and have a fun night out at the Bobby McKee's Dueling Piano Bar. And there's also kayaking options on the harbor for $20 an hour. So this year's meeting does have a social media hashtag. It is hashtag EntSoc23. So if you're posting anything from the meeting, make sure to include that hashtag. And then we also do have a student affairs committee Twitter that is at Ento Students. This is something if you're a student to, you know, follow and keep up on because while we're at the meeting, this Twitter will be, you know, keeping us updated on student activities happening and things leading up to the meeting as well. So make sure to tune into that. And thanks for watching this presentation. I'm excited to see you in National Harbor.